Yo, what is up, fam? Thanks once again for tuning into the channel. So once again, this is Kicksport where we look at everything sneakers, lifestyle, travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're gonna be reviewing the Nike Air Zoom Spirit on Cage 2s. Let's get it. So I've been waiting for this package for around two or three weeks, but uh, today we're finally reviewing it. Let's have a look at the box. And there you can see the sneakers. I'll take them out for you guys. Bam! So here is the sneaker. It is a thing of beauty. Just give you guys a closer look towards the back as well. It's really nice. It's a really nice sneaker. You can see there. Woo! Yeah. A couple of facts about this sneaker. As you guys know, it's called the Nike Air Zoom. So it's got the Air Zoom unit out on the bottom right there. It's also got the name Spiridon. I don't know where the name Spiridon came from. I actually thought Spiridon was sort of like a, a Greek mythological god or whatever, like Zeus or Poseidon. Honey, you mean Hercules. And uh, yeah, that's what I thought it was. And then I actually looked it up, it's actually not. So Spiridon is just a name that they uh, <laughs> kind of came up with. And it's got the name Cage 2. If you guys don't know who designed this, it is actually Stephen Smith. The really cool dude that's actually the director of design for Mr. Yeezy himself, Mr. Kanye West. They released this around 2003 and now it has just come back again. And the name Cage, as you can see on the heel right there, it, it sort of looks like a cage around the air unit. And that's how it got the name The Cage. I mean, there are other sneakers that have sort of like a similar feature on them too. But for some reason with this sneaker, it stayed like that. It got the name. The nickname the cage and uh, they decided to put on it on the box and on the name for this release and they also put a number two behind it it's, it's kind of weird how nike did that usually they do it with like signature models like the air jordans or the Kyrie twos or all those kind of stuff like that i think that they uh yeah i don't know why they just decided to put it there they usually call it like some other name some other cool name that they put at the bottom like turbo or plus or something else like that but they just put number one the two. I would like to know what you guys think about this sneaker, how it looks, and how if you would actually buy it because this was actually cost at retail was around two hundred Australian dollars. Uh, to me, it's like uh, it's a little bit expensive for a sneaker like this, but um, you know, but because it's got the Air Zoom unit, I think that's probably why it makes it a little bit more expensive, and the name, and because they are re-retroing it, so that's kind of I think might have added to the price. This sneaker was originally released around 2003. It was made for the Japanese runner. Japanese runners or runners in general would run through uh, all these kind of unfamiliar territory where sometimes they might like step into a puddle. And obviously when the water goes in, they want to make a shoe that kind of drains the water out as soon as possible so that they can continue running and hopefully that it kind of dries as they run. And this is kind of the design that they had. Initially, I think they, they didn't have a piece of uh, leather around the midsole but uh i think the nike heads kind of instructed uh stephen smith to actually include it into their design so that they can promote this sneaker to the uh the, you know the worldwide market not just to the japanese market and because of that they ended up having to uh increase their uh initial units from ten thousand to around eighty thousand because of the, just that one change in places like brazil it kind of really took off and uh, other places around the world. And eventually I think they had to make around 800,000 units of this sneaker back in the day. So that's how popular it was. So let's just uh, have a look at the sneaker. So as you can see around it, there is this really nice mesh material. It's got this satin material at the back. See that shiny, shiny satin right here on the heel counter. It's also got this uh, kind of fabric stitched tab at the back with the red detail of the swoosh. I really like this sneaker because it sort of kind of reminds me of the Silver Bullets, the Nike Air, I think it was the 97s. Uh, who was it? Who was it? It was like, I think it was Big Boy Johnny from the Richie Lee channel. Uh, if you watch him, he's the one that kind of uh, said it. Uh, they, he didn't really like the, the Stussy collabs, but he liked these ones because they reminded him of the Silver Bullets, which, uh, you know, it, it, I could see the resemblance. It looks really cool to me, in my opinion. I really do like the detailing, especially on the outsole. It's very different compared to what you see on the top. It kind of has these really Japanese vibes on it, the red, white, and uh, also the black. It, it almost, if you see it from afar, this little window here almost looks like Sakura's, but it's not. It's actually just um, this detail that they have. <laughs> I 
but it's really cool i really do like it it's got very very nice features all around it uh, it's very nice and clean usually i don't like to go for this kind of look because it, it is a little bit out there and uh, technically really shiny gray is not my thing but uh you know when i saw this uh <laughs> there was no way i was gonna cop the uh how do i say the stussy collab because i knew it, like everyone really wanted it but i wanted to kind of still review it because i still sort of like the sneaker this is sort of like the one that's kind of in the middle of uh what i liked and uh yeah i decided to get it i do not know the sizing yet because i haven't actually tried them on and uh i'll actually go try them on now so let's get to it so i just tried them on uh i would probably recommend you guys to probably stay probably stay true to size but uh because i got wide feet so i normally go nine and a half and uh there was a little bit space at the at the front and i need to go for this one because any smaller my feet would be like puffing out on the sides down here but uh this one yeah no it fits really good i, I don't mind the extra space at the top what's good about them is that if you do have a uh, wide feet and you don't want the extra space at the front you can still go for the go half size down and uh, it'll still be okay because it's it's the material like so conforms to the sides of your foot. It's a very soft material. Oh, it's very nice. It's very, I love the feel of the, of, of how they felt on my foot around this area. It's just got really, this. it's this padding here. I don't know if you guys can see this padding stuff, that stuff there, that is so nice against your foot it's just so soft it makes it like really cloud like around, around the top of your foot in terms of the cushioning um it's 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 okay i wouldn't say it's the best obviously i am a huge fan of the nike uh react foam um more, more so because i'm a bigger guy so i need more cushioning but these ones they do the job it's still very comfortable it reminds me of the nike air prestos it's sort of like that so if you like like your nike air prestos definitely give these a go because these would be almost exactly the same just a different look so if you're tr still kind of trying to decide whether you get these or not if you're on the fence about them if you really don't love them i suggest you probably don't get them uh because it is a kind of a unique sneaker and uh if you if you just like the look and you like comfort definitely get them but if you're if you're not decided if you're kind of half-hearted i kind of suggest you just to save your money for something else uh you know because you it, it's probably there there are a lot of more sneakers out there that you can purchase but this is definitely something really cool that i am happy that i purchased it's very comfortable i can definitely use it for a lot of outfits anything that's gray black or white i really think that you can use them in multiple different kind of outfits so yeah this is definitely a, a, a gym shoe you can use it for that uh you know doing weights but uh it's more of a, a running shoe i would probably say it's very good for like going out uh strolling lifestyle all that kind of stuff as well so it's a very nice blend of uh kind of looks and a uh, feel and comfortableness that you can actually use not the biggest flex you can't really flex with these ones <laughs> there's a lot of dad vibes that you get when you wear something like this it's, it's got that kind of look that a lot of dads wear but i still think they're cool you know um chucky sneakers are still cool to me i still like them and especially if they're comfortable they get like big points from me and definitely this is very very light and very very comfy and also they I don't know, but if it wasn't for the Stussy collab that came out and then I saw this, I probably wouldn't have bought, bought it, honestly, especially for $200. But when I saw the Stussy collab, I kind of really, really liked it. And it kind of changed my mind about it. And then it, it made me buy it. But now that I bought it, I have no regrets. I still like them. I'll still be wearing them. Definitely, I'll be rocking these out as much as I can. These probably turn into a couple of new beaters for me, especially as I use it to go running or going to the gym whenever that is i don't know when that is but yeah uh, i would really like to know your thoughts on this sneaker please let th leave them in the comments below and i just want to give a huge shout out to you guys for watching this video and i hope you learned something from it if you did give me that big thumbs up and if you like the video and the content that i create please please consider subscribing to the channel anyway a big thank you to you guys once again and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.